to come in. Hi, Cherry. I see you. I see you. Beaver. Indeed. <clears throat> We're gonna wait for a few more people to pop in, maybe. You know. If you like, thanks for the lurks. See, I, kn I knew more people were showing. I knew it. I knew it. How are you guys doing tonight? You've seen the bear before, but you have no idea what this game is about. Can you get a quick rundown? A uh, bunch of kids trapped in school told that in order to uh, leave, they have to kill one somebody else and get away with it. It's a little messed up. It's a lot of fun. One of my favorite games ever made. What kids are trapped in school, to be honest. Yeah, but they're allowed to go home at the end of the day. These ones aren't. They're stuck here. Their bedrooms are at the school and everything. Anywho, I guess we'll get started. gone. She, she really is gone. Letha Company versus version 50 beta is out. Hmm. I'll have to check that out, Jerry. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh-huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay. No need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted, smiling faces is enough. Thanks is thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. <laughs> they added a bunch of moons and two enemies? Ooh, Cherry. Did I tell you about my last um, time that I was I, that I worked for the company? They added a bee suit? Ooh, that's really nice. Um, so the last time I worked for the company, Sturm and I had finally saved up enough um, money to go to one of the bigger moons. And <clears throat> we see a jack-of-the-box. And I'm already freaking out because we're on one of the bigger moons. And he made me go in with them. And normally I stay in the ship. And um, he he goes, uh, we see the jack-of-the-box. And I'm freaking out a little bit. And he goes, uh-oh. Uh and I'm like, uh-oh, what? And he goes, uh, hey, Neko, turn around. And I go, and I, and I turn around and he puts the mask on. I was so terrified. I all left forward. Like, I ran and got so freaked out that I all left forward. Ja Danganronpa Chapter 2 begins indeed. Orange Bro Flareon, welcome in. I'm telling the story of the last time I played Lethal Company. Um, I told Sturm that I was not going to play Lethal Company again for a hot minute. There's one medium moon and two secret unlisted moons. One moon is 150 and the other is 1500. Woo! That's a lot of money. That's cool. That is wild. Like he knows I'm a scaredy cat. Why would he make? Why would he do that to me? I didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's deaths. 
I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me! You sure took your sweet time. I was just about to go get you and drag you back here. S sorry. Hmm. Hmm. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like you said? <laughs> I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Hey, come on. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying in there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air? That would hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. M Makoto. Um. Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't gonna help anything, right? What? Slightly. Why did? Why do they need to be secret about what? Cherry. If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it. So everyone, just try and cheer up and get back on track. <laughs> Is that truly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? Oh, the murdering. They're, they're not, they aren't being secret about it. We already know working together. We were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. Panic Gaming, welcome in. I need to make you a chat command so I can just give you trees every time you walk in the door. Hmm, put that on my list of things to do. Yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. Well... But if we work together against the Mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Feed me? Yeah. Somebody feed Panda some trees. <gasps> Catnip! Catnip! Yay! Yum, 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 yum. Okay, we're good. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself that. It'll all be over here in the real world. Working together, fighting a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. Um... More catnip! Catnip, catnip, catnip. Catnip, catnip, catnip. a lot too. 77 ounces. Ooh. Okay. What do you mean? Are you okay with this? The mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced. And they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. So then. Then what are we supposed to do? <gasps> More candy! Catnip, catnip, catnip. Cherry, what do you mean the you? The me? What? Zoom! Catnip. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. N no. The cherry on top. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, what? I... I can't take it. I don't want to live if it means killing someone else to do it. 
I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But... So, um... If we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? Panda, Neko what? That isn't what you wanted, is it? <gasps> Get it. Catnip is good. So it would seem. She's right. If you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. <gasps> more catnip! More catnip, more catnip, more catnip. Woo! Zoomy, 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 zoomy. I'm not gonna get anything done with all this catnip. Oh my goodness, there's more. More catnip. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to disable the command <laughs> if you keep going that hard on it. <laughs> oh my god, this is so much. No more. No more. Ah! 41 ounces. Catnip! Catnip! More! More! You can't go- Okay, okay, okay. That's enough catnip. This is like the cake. That's enough slices. That's enough catnip. Okay, I think I'm gonna get sick if I keep accepting the catnip. Ooh. It's like, when you had way too much booze the night before. Ooh, now give you trees? I, I, Cherry, could you pretty please give can Panda some trees for me? I'm kinda, no, no auto. Um, I kinda can't really type when I'm playing this one. To hear or listen, you're not to blame, not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. Dang it, Grandpa, why are you killing people? Hi, wing it. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we'd refused. You gotta go, Panda. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't throw you a bunch of trees in the chat, like, so that you could have a good meal. No more catnip! Oh no! 58 ounces though. 10 out of catnip. I'm gonna I'm gonna squirrel it away and save it for later. Okay? You have a good night, Panda. More catnip! You feel like <laughs> there's so much catnip. I'm gonna have to put a higher cooldown on that. Oh my goodness. Catnip. I've gotten a headache. I'm officially like hungover. Ugh. Just funding her drug addiction at this point. I know, right? Guys, girl can only get so many zoomies. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. Unlimited drugs, I know, right? Cherry, that's what I look like right now. What everyone wants? No, guys, I have never, never, never. Mm -mm. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. What, Cherry? Ho ho ho, FNAF stock soundbar? Rar? 
Interesting. Neko has never done a catnap, not once in her nine lives. Nope. Oh, and one other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you, even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your the clock actions. sounds used in FNAF. Um, hold on. One second. Hold on to your thoughts there, Cherry. So, FNAF released in uh, August of 2014, and Rompa initially released in November of 2010. So, if anything, FNAF stole it from Rompa. He's got puns! He's got puns. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. You're not saying it's a copy, you just recognize it? I mean, that is a pretty yeah. simple stock sound. What? What was th that about just n now? <sighs> was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Don't fuck with me. That piece of shit. Who does he think he is? And so, the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates, Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. What's he gonna do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear. But Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. <sighs> Thanks for the lurk, Light. Really appreciate it. Ah, doesn't this feel just great? Being stuck inside like this, you gotta make sure to stay healthy. <laughs> You're the one keeping us st stuck inside. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Yeah -ha! Whoa, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? So? So, why did you call us here? Certainly it wa wasn't just to make us exercise. Yeah. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? Hey! If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Layla, hi, welcome in. I'm doing pretty good playing my favorite game ever. Um, how are you doing? Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the Assassin's Fist. Passed down from generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness, the power can be yours. Hmm? That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. You love Dunganronpa? Me too, Layla. 
Me too. It's my favorite game. Master Bobby, hi! Been a couple days, hasn't it? Glad to see you back. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? The shaved cat profile picture? What? Cherry, what? Hey, um... Uh, of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then... Hmm. Ah, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? A whole new world. You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Oh, oh, Layla. <laughs> I'll have to look at it when I can actually, like, zoom in. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. Yeah, yeah, Monokuma, I feel that one, actually. Very nice. So go ahead. Look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. Man broke into house and shaved cat's head and left. <gasps> That's my worst nightmare, Cherry. It's my worst nightmare. My hair is so pretty. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he'd shown up. But a new world. Could it be? Is he talking about a way to get outside? I wonder about that. That seems unlikely. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know till we look. Hey. Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Monokuma over here looking out for everyone's mental state. <laughs> we need a shave command. No way, Cherry. No way. Oh god, what happened now? Advanced Warrior, we just started Chapter 2. And it looks like Monokuma has unlocked some more areas for us to explore. When you're done, everyone beat back up at the dining hall, and we'll share what we found. You're basically a one-trick pony. You know that? Got it! More like a staple food source. Now let's get moving. Seeing his words as their single signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. We're going to go on a Monokuma coin hunt. We have a lot from the last trial. Who's going to die now? We'll find out at the end of today. Um, but we're going to go on our, our coin hunt, as per no usual. Um, so I'm going to go click on everything downstairs first, because we do have to, um, double check, because sometimes they re-hide things in between chapters. See, like that. And we've got a lot of them to gamble away. What the heck? Hey, Makoto. Did you see what's inside the display case? Bad. This is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. Tell your husband he picks weird maps. <laughs> what did he pick this time, Advanced Warrior? You know what? Just send me a link to the to the game so that I can go check it out. Send me one to the last one too, if you could. Hmm. Sure. To the untrained eye, it's nothing. But this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. You really like the art style for Dungeon Room, but Layla, that is what attracted me to the game in the first place. I was like, what is this really stylish looking game? Um, and I've always been a puzzle and murder mystery fan, so as soon as I realized what it actually was, and then realized that it wasn't out in the U.S. yet, what happened to Bro's hair? That's what Bro's hair always looks like colors. The character designs are so interesting, yeah. And everybody's got their favorite character. And, like, I can't begrudge anybody's choice in favorite character because they're all fabulous. We're serious force of nature and it's not meant for fog it's meant for standard but you're playing it in fog that's hilarious 
he looks like a tumbleweed. You know, you're not the first person to say that colors. Dude, Jerry, what? That stuff you see lined up there? Any god could come by and use it to send us a message. Huh? <laughs> ah, I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. <laughs> Let me out of here! Let me out! There's way too many mountains and too many choke points. <laughs> uh, I guess you guys should have both played Grit. <laughs> you liked the anime, to be honest. It's pretty good, and the game is also pretty good. So, le legit, the first season of the anime is basically just the game smushed into an anime. Bro want to get out? Bro does want to get out. They all kind of want to get out. I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. So, as you can see, we have a second floor now. Got it! Makoto, look! The gate blocking the stairs is gone! It would seem a path to the second floor has opened up! You hear me? But it's also of utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about just in case. Without a doubt. Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impress myself sometimes. You understand? Well, I'll leave the school to you. Of course you will. We'll go up there sooner or later. Ugh, it's gonna give me, like, all sorts of issues, like, with certain areas. Still no nurse's office. Let's go out here. Oh, it won't let me in there. Winget has won from the jump catch game. Yo. I went and checked the hatch in the main hall just to be sure, but <sighs> Shit. just like I figured, it hasn't moved an inch. Shit. Yeah, I'd be surprised if he made things that easy for us. Kinda why you read read manga and also watch the anime? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I'm gonna say though, the execution scenes in the anime were ripped directly from the game, and that's kind of what did it in for me with the first season of the anime. The only season of the anime that I actually could really get into was season three. Got a grade A under a under a haircut. Woo! Dollar store Dio colors. You know, these characters are all really, really something. Hey, damn it! What? Don't make that face. You look like a pussy. You want me to put some fighting spirit in you? Well, do ya? No thanks. I think I've cut enough for now. Yo. Well, okay. I'm gonna go look for another way out then. So more than one guy's gonna get executed? Mm. Damn, autocorrect cherry, lol, lol, lol. You want out of this rabbit hole? Bro, I called him the wrong character. Oh, it won't even let me gamble yet. That's fun. I want to, like, recheck everything. It's not letting me in a lot of places. Okay, it won't even let me down here. Okay. I guess I have to go upstairs. We'll do our downstairs sweep in a few minutes. The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. This is what Monokuma meant by a whole is this what Monokuma meant by a whole new world? You gotta head out, Advanced Warrior, are you still at work? Or are you just done with uh Duncan Ropa? <laughs> bloodshed? Yeah yeah. I will enjoy the bloodshed, thanks. Gambling is good, kids, unless you stream on kick. Uh if so, what's up there? Here we go. This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. You leave work at midnight? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. It's it's 9.30 here too, so. Hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool! There's a pool here! A pool! Pool, pool, pool. 
you don't have to keep repeating it. I got okay. it. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. You're sick so you can't go to work, Colors? Well, I hope you feel better soon. You're gonna go watch some Lethal Company videos? Have fun, Cherry. We'll be here if you decide to come back. <laughs> the second floor has opened up. The living area has grown, and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit, things have been made much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class, class trial may not be so bad. Oh no, is this one what, Layla? <laughs> Hey, Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um, no. I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you do seem like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. But, but still, it sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd kind of like to get a little stronger. You know what's happening next, Layla. I know. I know. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But I'm not even brave enough to step foot into the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go in the locker room. Um. It's not that I don't want to. It's just... Poor Chihiro. I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia, though. Lots of stuff to check out here. There's a bunch of different pool-related items on the shelf. Coin! This is one of the monitors. Blah, blah, blah. It looks like one of those lifesaver flotation donuts. Is that a real gun? It's not like we're at war here. Why would we need something like that here? Behind this door is the locker room? Yeah! Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. That's a nice feature, being able to see the click points. It is winged. It makes it a little easier. Really? Of course! Really, really! Oh. Hmm. If you want to unlock her in the locker room, you'll have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh-huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. But... Mm -hmm. But what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? <gasps> Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. See? There's a giant Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? Danganronpa? Danganronpa. Danganronpa is good. Danganronpa is good. You're watching this at 2 in the morning, Colors? Well, I appreciate you being here, but get some sleep if you need to. Why can't you just keep crushing those uh, jump catch games? You're the little brat from Danganronpa 2? Which one? Oh! <laughs> and it'll be all tuka, 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 tuka. Just a second! I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing! Um, um, no. I think it'd be a little worse than that. Hmm. But what if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook 
And that would get them into the girls' locker room, would it not? Ah! What? That never even occurred to me! To think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish! Hmm? Hmm. Okay then, how's this sound? I got it! Time for a new rule! As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited! <laughs> there! So now, no one can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You don't really like her, but sh- mm. Neo, yeah. You were wondering when the gun would appear? Yeah, you feel like... Free funny money? Interesting. Be right back again. Take your time. You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% cut. Honestly. I do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would likely help be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. So, um... But, you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! It's cause all you teenagers are sex crazed maniacs. If you're at that age, you try humping a plastic bottle. So, to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch. <laughs> then, in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man and some woman decided to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. Pretty easy to commit murder when the turret kills anyone who gets too close to the bathroom. Just push the right pervert and you've got an excuse. You'd be like, that's not quite how it works. The turret goes after anybody that tries to force their way in. It doesn't just go after um, anybody that gets too close. Um. <laughs> Orange bro. Of what exactly? Of what Monokuma would say. Interesting. Master Bobby, thanks for the lurks. Super appreciate it. All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. This, yes. I don't care what happens in your private dorms. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. We do not tolerate that, Monokuma. You're so perverted. Just the worst. I hate you so much. See ya later. Okay. The new regulation is now in place. See ya. <laughs> Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. You got it! Celeste, Chihiro, you want to come with me? As for me... There is nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'll pass this time. Huh? How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. locker room card reader. I can open it using my e-handbook. The girls locker room card reader. I'm listed as male in my e-handbook, so I can't open this door. You wonder who's going to be involved at this time? You hope the biker guy isn't the victim? Well, for your sake, Evilite, I hope he's not too. The girl to the girls locker The door to the girls locker room. I have no way of unlocking it, so I couldn't go in if I wanted to. I think we've done everything in here. Make sure we talk to Celeste. Yeah, we talked to Celeste. Leave the area. Mm -hmm. This is the girls' bathroom. If I ever took one step in there, I'd become a total creep in everyone's eyes. And that'd be it for me. This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful in here. Yeah. 
I love the wallpaper in this one. I see. This must be what he meant by a new world. <sighs> I should probably take a really close look around. Clock. Coin. Surveillance camera. Monitor. So there's still another floor, which means not everything is opened up yet. Lots of metal plates, guys. Lots of metal plates. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old, and it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's happening in the outside world. But if it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. Camera, more monitor. What's behind this door? It's some kind of archive. All I saw there was stacks of old books and files. I can't imagine what business you would have in there. That's true. I don't really have any reason to check it out. The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. Did you miss the trial? Neo? There hasn't been a trial yet. We're in the very beginning of chapter two. We're just examining the second floor for the first time. We don't even know who's gonna be the next victim yet. Hope Speak Academy. Indeed. It was buried under the thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Kyoko's your favorite. You just really like purple. I agree. Kyoko's a beauty. Like, she is up there for me. But there's characters that I like more. Like Celeste. You didn't remember? <laughs> Ew. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Okay. I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. From the Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter the society ready to take on an active leadership roles in every major job field. Second vic- oh, wait, I know who the first victim is. It's- ha, I thought you'd say it. Second victim. Dang, that ruined the joke. Haha, <laughs> Neo, you're funny. We get returns! Welcome back. You're about to get some lore drops, actually. However, Hope's Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. The decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now, and I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. It's the bite of 87. It's the bite of 87. It's the bite of 83. <gasps> Who knows? 
What does this mean? Hmm. Hmm. The contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem... It would seem Hope's Peak had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust this letter con had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? You love Celeste's style. Gothic Lolita is really nice. See, and that's why Celeste's my favorite. She is a woman after my own heart. Most likely, the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked up stuff online about the school and never saw anything about this. So in other words... That must have been part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hm. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However, if it is real though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hm. That would be nice. Simple solution, it's true. But then, what about this other part? This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. What did they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close? Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? No. If, if the two events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection would be a useful clue, on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. Hm. So in other words, the, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. If we can figure out why they would want to imprison all of us here, will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Oh no, we missed some dialogue and stuff. Oh, that makes me kind of sad, actually. I didn't realize reading the letter was going to be the end of what was here. Listen to me! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how'd it go? Did anyone discover any interesting new anything? Yes, indeed. There's a library. Okay. And a pool. A freaking pool. And locker rooms filled with exercise equipment. Well, there was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. I see. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. Quiet down and listen. The warehouse and the bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. Oh, no. You hear me? And that warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much it's insane. <laughs> so go ahead and stuff yourself to the gills whenever you feel are like. Are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay. And what about the fucking way out of here? You find anything like that? Oh, well, um... What? There what? wasn't anything in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here? Nothing? Unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. Hey, come on. You fucking people. What? Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now? Or a warehouse? Or whatever the fuck? Stop fucking around! We're still trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out now. I'm gonna see something really quick. Um... Do I need to? I I think I've got a gonna have an issue right now, cause I'm pretty sure you're still winning. Yeah, you are still winning. I'm not even sure what you're what you're doing to make you win so much, Wing It. Um, 
I'm gonna save right here and we're gonna go to the main menu and um because I'm pretty sure that I need an item Bondo curses too much she really does I'm pretty sure I need an item before I can finish this scene and I'm wondering if I can't get to the mono mono machine from here yeah here we go joy <laughs> you're losing in guilty gear trying to play the new character oof he's a biker gang leader you know yeah exactly orange bro flareon we are looking for a very specific item like one like specific enough that I'm willing to start doing resets if I don't get it the best characters and worst characters at the same time. I know that feel. Gambling, trying to get that specific item I told you guys about last time. If we get down to 10 coins and we haven't gotten it yet, I'm probably going to save back out and, um, mm, donuts. Uh, like, I'll probably save back out and, um, make sure to, um, do the things that I need to do, basically. Lucky! Finally. Uh, duplicate. You love to see it? Yeah. Um. There's only one in this game. I thought there were two. Well, one that comes from in here. By the way, guys, since we're over here gambling, I guess it's uh, time for over an hour of Gashapon Drills. Gashapon Drills? Yeah, indeed. I'm not sure whether I need it this chapter or next chapter, even. Like, I'm, I'm not. I'm pretty sure it's coming up. Especially since the baths are open. Like, I just remember them being kind of tied together. Oh, 
Um, Squidward is now canonically an octopus. What? But I thought he was a, a squid? What? It's good to have gift items anyway, so... How many mana coins does a single draw take? So you can draw for one coin each time. Or, and I'll show you guys, I won't actually draw like this. So you can put in extra tot coins to lower the repeat chance. See, as I put in more coins, it guarantees me a new item. But having repeat items isn't a bad thing. So... Until we get lower down the repeat percentage line, we won't be um, using more than one coin. Man, this next trial that's coming up, although it's it like although it's sad, it is one of my favorites. Well, we have the item we need. Before the creator died, he said that Squidward was actually an octopus. We confirmed it in a ep new episode, so it's now true canon. Interesting. Although it's sad. Aren't all the trials sad? I mean, someone died. Um, when you're as desensitized as I am. <laughs> Wing it. Win it more and more. Hello, Trust. Fellow Dung and Rumpa fan here. Well, welcome in. We're currently gambling at the Mono Mono machine. We just finished exploring the second floor for the first time. Um, I'm just not sure when a certain scene occurs, so I was just making sure I had the correct item. And now I'm just kind of like gambling a few extra coins away now that I've gotten it. How are you tonight? This is my favorite game, though. So, like, I, I, this is not a blind playthrough for me, although it is blind for a lot of my chat. Um, so we're doing a challenge run, which, at next trial, we will be upping the difficulty to mean, because it's only the first trial that's buggy. So, if you guys are excited for, uh, mean difficulty, I am too. To be fair, this episode didn't age well? What do you mean, Cryo? We're gonna, we're gonna pop out of the mono mono screen as soon as I hit fit down to 50 coins. We'll go gambling again later. We got the item we needed, so I'm not worried about it. Whenever the option occurs, the option occurs. Besides, we're getting some lucky hits right now. Alright, one more. Alright, we're gonna back out. Ooh. Also, um, I'm going to hold a couple of polls. Um, let's see what you guys want to... Yes, we'll save changes. And we'll continue... Hard cap raid! It's a hard cap raid! Welcome raiders! No way, Dongan gotcha. Yeah, no, I was making sure that I had that item that I told you guys that I needed in order to get that hidden scene. Thanks, Hardcap, for the raid. Yeah, Hardcap must have finished with the Infinite Dream stream. Guys, check out Hardcap Games. He's crushing it. He's doing the uh, Infinite Dream, just like I've been doing on um, Thursdays. We'll be doing that here. And, um... How far did you get, Hard Gap? You made it back to the main gang in the death. Okay. Okay. So you're not too, too far behind me. And you're home now. Well, I'm glad you made it home safe. How was the movie, Aloe? Hard Gap said you went to go see Godzilla. And, um, I am low-key jealous. 
meta max just keeps talking it up like real hardcore and i really want to see yeah i i knew that was how it's gonna be we're gonna i'm definitely gonna have to go see it like pro i'll probably wait until it comes out so that i can see it at home because you know i don't like leaving the house you're gonna do a spoiler review free on stream tomorrow I'll ha uh what time because actual peak you i gotta watch it okay cryo you hear that we're gonna watch the godzilla movie when it comes to home I don't want to pay for movie tickets in this economy. <laughs> We're still trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. <laughs> now, now, there's no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is key, yes. For now, we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of... Whatever you say, you fucking moon. <laughs> for now... Let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should discover something. So then. So, are we done for today? Y yeah. Well, yeah. I guess so. Nico checking in. Hi, hi. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, you probably saw that I'm over lurking. <laughs> I was lurking on hard cap stream and now I'm lurking on a uh, cozy stream because <laughs> that's what happened to pop up next. And boy, am I glad it is. I got my phone running in the corner, just lurking. She's playing Stardew. You guys should check her out. Um, Alo, could you go grab the link for um, Classic Cozy Gamer, please? Actually, you know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. It's fine. I don't know if you'll, if you'll be able to find it quickly. I don't know if you're sub to her or not. Let me go grab that link. second guys um I should actually just make her a whole chat command I, I have so many chat commands I need to make um so if you guys haven't checked out her uh, again that's classy cozy gamer you should I enjoy her content nice and calming and again you know definitely check out hard cap stuff I'm gonna put his con his again and since we're dropping links, we're going to do aloe, and we're going to do wing it, and we're going to do Nico. And I think I saw Cherry, too. In fact, I know I saw Cherry, but I don't know if they're still here. <laughs> there just happens to be more people. You'll be lurking? I appreciate it. You don't know who this kid you just swapped to is, but he looks like Kalua from Hunter x Hunter. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Harcap, who are you? Uh. Aloe. <laughs> Aloe. <laughs> That's a perfect character. Uh, Eevee Light. Where are you, Harcap? Oh, you're Kibo. He's from the third game. You got you, but you picked a good one, Alo. Apparently, Cryo is also. Actually, can I crack up at the fact that Kyoko? You're not Kyoko, are you? No, that that's not Kyoko. Do you want to be Kyoko? You haven't been here all enough. <laughs> um, anywho, the air seemed to gr suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan? To give us hope just to turn around and betray that hope? You picked Kyoko in the thing? I don't know. The stream avatars is not the greatest because that's definitely um, Miu. Uh, let's see here. Where are you? I'll, f I'll fix you. Yeah, no, it says you should be Kyoko. There you go. It just hadn't updated yet. Which one's Kyoko? The purple hair girl in the back. You like this guy's hair? <laughs> Kibo's a pretty cool one. Did we get our item? We did get the item. I'm not sure whether it's this chapter or next chapter when I actually get to use it, but I do have the item for when it's for when it's time. 
One of, one of your many platonic babes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. When it says hi, Allo. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be Alter locked. Alter Ego just being a walking laptop is absolutely is hilarious. Prohibited. <laughs> Layla. <laughs> We're doing no spoilers for the people who haven't seen it yet, so shh. <laughs> you can say their names, but uh, you know, stop wing it in the chat, Layla. Hi, Layla has gotten um, it's the end of the free time this chapter. See, that's what I thought. Okay then, Sweet the context dreams, is funny. Everyone. Yeah. Good night. Sleep tight. Being Don't vague for spoiler bed, purposes. Bye. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. Um, Cryo, did you hear we're going to have to go? We're going to have to see the Godzilla movie when it comes to streaming services. I mean, you still owe me the FNAF movie, though, so we'll see. We all promise not to leave our rooms during nighttime. There's not much else to do. Guess I'll just go to bed. Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay, not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy-paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? No, no, Layla, you're okay. I'm just letting you know um, that, you know, we're trying to make sure that we aren't spoilery. I don't mind you having said what you said, because obviously it's a stream avatar and there's not much that... Um, I can change about that. And I, not that I would want anybody to pick anything else. Um, but you know, just for, to let you know that there are some people in chat that still haven't seen the whole game. I, I definitely had some people, um, freaked out by the execution last time. You're fabulous, Allo. I'm glad you're fabulous. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Owl, have you seen the new it command is now for Layla? It a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Oh, that's right. I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. Your god, Monokuma mentions he's a cardboard cutout in this game. Yeah, he does. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before. The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. He must be referring to yesterday. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. When you were out, your friend said jokingly, you got to learn to walk like a woman, and you nailed it in seconds. Straight up Barbie walking at the mall. Good for you, Aloe. I wish I could do better than, like, waddle. <laughs> but right now, I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. Um... Double checking that there's no um, coins hiding anywhere. Wing it, winning more. Men and women walk differently. Um, usually. Now, 
Cameras inside the bedroom. Feisty. Mm -hmm. See? And they hid more mono coins in here. Can't let myself turn away from her death. Yep. Let's go. Make sure nobody's lurking around. Morning, Makoto. Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. Nope, still waiting on Byakuya and Taka. Byaki is no surprise, but it's strange Taka's not here yet. <laughs> Knowing Taka, I imagine he is trying to get the King of Tardiness up and out of bed. Hmm. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem, which is <sighs> I am thirsty. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> hey, Fumi, would you make me some tea? Oh, Celeste. Celeste, this, this, this is why I love Celeste, guys. This scene right here. Love Celeste. Huh? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well, what? why me? Let's see. Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh. Um. Okay. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, Hifumi skulked his way into the kitchen. This is why you hate Celeste. <laughs> Monokuma having cameras in the bed isn't a surprise at the very, very end. Looks around. Ah, oh, Neo. Chill, okay? And a few minutes later... <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Kifumi reappeared with a tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> <laughs> Finally... You, you could have made some for the rest of us, you know. There's no way to think I about this in a common decline. sense kind You're of way. You're not my type at all. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's all about the laws of causality. Basic instinct, act and react. <laughs> <laughs> well then, if you don't mind. A small smile played across her lips as she held the cup, teacup delicately in her hand. Oh. Wait. She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. What? What the? Hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? Mm. I hate this kind of tea. Um, um I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Ima imagine we are at a coffee shop, just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. They, uh, they then ask me, would you like lemon or milk? No further imagine that I replied, Ah yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes. <sighs> but this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries in ketchup. Mere condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. <laughs> and I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Let me tell you guys though, brewing tea inside hot milk is one of the best ways to enjoy black tea. Like, no lie. I, I'm a tea person. Like, I love tea. I love tea so, so much. You can't deny she has a style. She does. And she sticks to it. And she is unapologetically herself. And I love her. She's queen. I know, Cryo, you don't like her. I get it. Um, I went through all that trouble to make you that tea. And you wanted me to go even farther? <sighs> yes, 
I realize it can be quite a, a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. Vile creature, she could have gave instructions beforehand. Well, she said milk tea, not tea with milk. I get it. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... <laughs> Why even bother creating a menu if you are not going to offer the highest level of quality? Well, um, we don't actually have a menu, actually. You little bitch! That does not matter! Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine! Say what? What? Yay! Okay, your little piggy will bring it right out! <laughs> I do so love coercion. You were like a totally different person just now. Oh, yeah, shit. You really want Psycho there. <laughs> she wants to get her teeth right the first way. I forgot. <laughs> I love her so much. She's fabulous. <laughs> I knew there was more to her when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. Ah, oh, she's perfect. The dining hall doors flew open, and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But... <laughs> bad news, everyone. There is a mystery afoot. Huh? Huh? What happened? 92%? There's no shiny luck in this game, but 78% full speed? That seems a little bit high for... <gasps> More catnip! Oh my god, I got overloaded with catnip Aurelius. I, I remind me to later go in and set the no. We need to set the catnip um so that it doesn't go as frequently. Um, because it's it was a bit much. Um, somebody sent me like six chat uh commands of catnip in a row. Neo, Neo, no. No more catnip. No more catnip. Panda sent me like six things of catnip in a row. And I am so outzoomied. No more catnip. Even light. No. No more drugs. No. No, thank you. You keep rolling so high. Uh -huh. I need to slow down that command. It. Okay, it you know what? I'm going to do it right now. I can't. You guys are like trying to stuff me full. You're trying to turn me into a fat cat. Um, let's see. Chat, uh, catnip command. Let's adjust this. That looks good. There's a good cooldown on that now. You keep rolling so high. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. Anywho, huh? What happened? <clears throat> it would seem Byakuya refuses to leave his room. I stood there, pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there? I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that, he didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Listen to me! Ah, I was just about to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? Stop trying to one-up everyone. Um... Okay, then I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button until I get a response. Well then... Very well. The, the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um... Yeah, before it's, you know, too late. Anyway, we just have to do our best to find Byakuya. So where might Byakuya have gone? Maybe he went to go check out the second floor of the school again. Celeste, aren't you gonna help for look for Byakuya? <laughs> I have not had my tea yet. Huh? As for me... Until my thirst is satisfied, I have no urge to do anything. <laughs> if you are in a hurry, feel free to motivate Hifumi to move faster. Okay. But aren't you being kind of 
selfish. Can I go in there and talk to I can. Mm -hmm. Ah, Mr. Nyagi, what's going on? Well, nobody's seen Byakuya this morning, so we've all decided to go look for him. What? What? That's not good at all. However... However, this little piggy needs to... I have a holy edict to deliver a proper milk tea to my master. Please. To bless this undeserving swine with such an honor. I will serve you with all my heart and soul. Okay, good luck with that. Hifumi's created some creepy alternate reality for himself. <laughs> Guys, I just asked if that was a bell pepper and then s said no, it's paprika. But paprika is made from dried bell peppers. Did we, like, zoom in and, like... I feel like we're closer now. Coin! Um, let's see. We've got a camera. And a monitor. Lock in here. Coin. We're gonna go check the bath. We didn't get to check this area earlier. Using this Masha's chair would make me feel kind of old. Yo. How's it going? You find him? No. Hey, come on. Shit. Man, where the hell'd he go? He's got his head sucked so far up his ass. Who knows what's going on with him? I figured maybe he was taking a bath or something. By the way. So what about you? You a morning bath kind of guy? Hell yeah. After spending all night riding your hog, wind in your face, there's nothing better than a morning dip. The hot water loosens you up, and the heat of your soul gets your heart and body pumping. Sure thing. I'll have to take your word for all of that. What? What? You what? don't know what I'm talking about? Fucking nerd. Hell yeah. Guys gotta expose themselves to each other, you know? Come with me next time. You'll see. I'll think about it. But I mean, it's not like you've been riding your hog here in the school, right? Lockers. One of them is unlocked, but I don't see anything inside. This bathtub is huge. That right? Is it the heat source for the sauna? Wow, there's only one thing in here. Interesting. Aurelius, I saw you come in and, and I said something about the catnip, but uh, how are you tonight? If you're still here, of course. Checking all the washing machines again. Lots of coins in here.
<laughs> a surprise Takumi hasn't come by and stolen it or something. Monitor, of course. All kinds of stuff piled up everywhere. I could never get half this stuff in the outside world. There's, yep, more all kinds of stuff piled up everywhere. All kinds of food snacked up, from basic ingredients to snacks and candy. It's everything anyone could ever want or need. Mm. Aha! I see you came to search this area as well, Makoto. Mm. But you were one step too late. I've already finished my investigation, and there was no trace of Biaka yet. You hear me? An army marches on its stomach, as they say. In other words. So I thought maybe he would come here to have his fill. Mm. We must all eat. Eat until there's nothing left to eat. You understand? Anyway, now is no time to get discouraged. We must head elsewhere to continue our search. Y yeah, you're right. Just checking the last couple spots here. Is this the fridge Sayaka mentioned? It's stuffed tight with food and drinks. And a camera. Still looking. Um, we weren't allowed to look in these rooms earlier, so we're gonna grab the coins that could possibly be in here. destroyed chat by removing the catnip from being so frequent. <laughs> Search the rest of the rooms a little bit more later. It's not like the timing matters too much, just as long as we do it before the end of. Um, actually, you know what? I might as well make sure that there's no other dialogue that we're missing. We don't get to search the rooms, but we should at least check the areas. here.
here. I will do the cookies. We might as well. Finally. Feels like we haven't had enough of those. This is the last room, though, that's down here. broken again guys i see a high chat rate it's broken again oh my goodness guys oh man there was like a whole duel and everything hold on going back reading stuff um this might be a philippines thing but have you ever tried champarado it's kind of like chocolate rice porridge i can't handle rice it's totally gross to me um 81 ounces of catnip Thank you, again. Uh, wing it declined the duel. Aurelius called him a pussy, that's fair. Um, you keep imagining me running around the house trying to do everything at once and literally crashing into the couch. You know, I am just imagining me having energy for once. Um, you mean some chef would have a field day in here? Uh, looking at this makes you wonder why other people in the games would be like in this place. Like, what would Lake with Chiaki, you like it here. Mm -hmm. What's a sauna doing behind the rest of the area? It's a sauna. You think it'd be off to the side? That's bad design. I don't know. The swimsuit up there, you assume Aoi is wearing hers at all times at soccer wouldn't fit in that. You don't think Kyoko gets any sun, so who's in that fair? Um, suddenly the only one here. Am I not seeing No, so my chat actually froze. ER, hi. Never, you've heard of this game before, but never played. You're a huge Ace Attorney fan. Well, Ace Attorney is on the docket for Tuesday nights. Why do you feel that Moral Compass guy is just a guy that wants to be above other people since he's a Moral Compass and seemingly tries to one-up people? I don't know, Evie Light, maybe. Uh, you don't want to eat until there's nothing left to eat. That'd be a good way to starve to death. Ah, other people. Hi, um, you've been talking hello. I can't, I couldn't. No, my chat was broken. Um, you've come back and you're ready to debate. High colors. Um, yeah, no, I'm so sorry. Modding duty over time to troll? Indeed. I saw that she ended stream and I was like, oh no. Yeah, no, I couldn't see chat. No, I'm fixed. I'm fixed. Um, uh, someone could just ring her up on Discord. My Discord is muted. I'm seeing that I've got seven notifications. I think somebody probably tried. Um, <laughs> oops, Cryo, she can't see chat. Tell her, try to tell her. You know, uh, Cryo is at work right now. I noticed, rejoice. Um, you were talking to me for like 10 minutes and then this lock came in. I know. There's a whole story arc during the missing chat. I know. I went back and read it all, Nico. It's okay. We'll be all right. We will be all right. Oof. Okay. I was like, oh, my chat abandoned me. And then I realized that I've been having this issue where the chat just likes to die on me. That's connected to, uh... Um, OBS. <laughs> I missed an entire episode. Yeah, I think we're all caught up. Sorry if I talked too fast through that. Alright, we're going upstairs. Let's go find the boy. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, 
I, ma I missed an entire Dragon Ball Z era. Ouch. Hey. So you thought to come here too. Huh? So... If you think about what Byakuya was so interested in yesterday, you can probably guess where he is right now, right? Huh? What was it Byakuya was interested in again? We already checked this room. Yeah, 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 guys. I get it. You want to laugh at me. I get it. Um. Oh. Hey, Makoto. So, did you find Biafia? I'm sorry. No, I didn't see him anywhere. I see. But... Somehow, Kyoko figured out where he might be. Huh? You willingly listen to Ice Spice? What is... What's Ice Spice colors? I don't even know what that is. You know? Kyoko's so amazing. She's cool, she's smart, and she seems really tough. She's definitely smart, that's for sure, but tough? Compared to, say, Sakura, or even Hina, she doesn't seem all that different from Chihiro. Is it weird to compare them like that? Um... You have a question. Are the coins only found in certain chapters, or do you need to check all coin locations once anytime? So, each chapter coins are placed anywhere in the entire um, school. So every chapter, the coins reset. And that includes both regular life and sometimes daily life. So in some locations, you might find coins in, in deadly life that is not um, that are not available in uh, daily life. She's a trashy rapper. I I'm assuming she, because Ice Spice just sounds like Spice Girls. Oh yeah, Byakuya Kukichi, gotta fight the- <laughs> Nico, Nico, no, no, no. Neodata, like you were saying, whose swimsuit is that? I'm always assuming that it's, um, Aoi's, like, spare swimsuit. Jinko is dead, Chihiro's here, probably doesn't know how to swim being a computer nerd. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming it's her, her spare. Oh. Uh. To see if there's anybody down at the end of the hall. We didn't even examine this classroom. That's why I was like, I'm surprised. It's worse than you thought. I know. Reality isn't everything. Look at that bear drawing. Yeah, she would have a spare or two. And that's that's part of why I'm being so thorough. It's just because I know they could be anywhere. You think the Shamparado you left sitting out for a few minutes messed up your guts? Ooh, Evie Light, good luck. Just double checking that there's not anything else to click on in here. Um, but no, you were saying it had something to do with rice. I can't handle rice. It's a big texture thing for me. I can't eat it. No way, no how. Absolutely not. When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried out in sudden surprise. Byakuya? Of all the things I'd imagined, this most definitely wasn't one of hey, them. Hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! Hashtag anti-food girl? Ugh. You forgot, Toko. Well, let's be honest, she'd probably only wear it if told by <laughs> Neo. Wait, if you can't eat rice, then that means you dislike Japanese food. So, sticky rice is okay. That's probably the only, because it's a texture issue for me. Like, this is one of those things that, like, I could eat it if I wasn't texture adverse to it. So, sticky rice is fine, but anything that's grainy, like Spanish rice or, like, white rice for the sake of eating white rice, um, or, like, yellow rice or brown rice, mm -mm, can't do it. Like, sushi rice is fine. Um, and when it's, like, really, really sticky, it's fine. So, like, 
anything that's wrapped in rice or rolled in rice is usually okay. But like porcupine balls, I couldn't do. I don't do rice pudding. I don't do. Um, it just feels really gross to me, and I can't. I just, ugh, I can't. You're like Spider-Man and Batman. You have no powers, and you're poor. Spider-Man has lots of powers. Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. I would hate oatmeal. Um, I, I'm better about oatmeal than I am about rice. And I can eat tapioca fine. It's just rice. And, um, uh, the, the best way that I can describe it is it feels like there's bugs in my mouth. Um, so it's, ugh. All of those ri rice options except white sound yummy to you. I'm sorry, honey. If you want rice, I'll make you rice. I just won't eat it. Oatmeal is mid anyway. You know, I've actually been thinking about trying those overnight oats things that we keep saying. Like, I keep getting Facebook ads for it. And, um, uh, they look so good. What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. Yo, man, thank We've you for the lurk. For Appreciate you. it. Your stream earlier was lit. And thanks for the assistance, too. Who asked you to do that? You're sorry, what? You didn't say anything, Neil? What do you mean? You hate any other type of rice besides white? To each their own. Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. No wonder Neko is a Celeste. <laughs> you know what, Cryo? Cryo over here complaining that I'm picky when the man doesn't even eat steak. Like, how do you not like steak? Like, how is that a thing? I love you to death, but you need to chill with that. Anywho. Hi, Jacob. Welcome in. You were replying to Cryo and it sounded like I said your name. Sorry. Oh, okay. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? You know what? I, I feel like... Is everybody hearing the voices okay? Do I need to turn the, the voice options up and the music down or something? Really, Jacob? You don't like steak either? You, t you tend to make onigiri once or twice a month? See, I'd love to try onigiri because it's, again, made with the stickier rice. Cryo, you need to pretend to agree with your wife. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Absolutely not. He's allowed to have his own opinions. I'm just being funny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this down one. Um, hopefully, that helps the feeling that the voices aren't loud enough. Um, you were gonna say, depending on what Spider-Man you're talking about, he either got powers from the spider that bit him, or it was given to him by a spider god to protect spider kind. Interesting, Neo. Clark Kent is allergic to a very specific rock. Does that make him picky about where he goes? I mean... <sighs> Listen. Yes, he's not going to go to some place with a ton of kryptonite. You also don't fully like steak. You like all meat, but you prefer chicken. You just finished a one-hour Minecraft play session. Point is, steak is your kryptonite. You can do most other foods. You're right. Do you think that I wish that I was allergic to all these foods? Do you think I don't want to just eat normally, please? That'd be lovely. My favorite candy is a Reese's. I had that taken from me. I look on longingly when your mother hands the kids Reese's pieces. I cry. Bayaki has snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as his shadow. We still need to explore this area. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started just showing up, one after another. Neko, if you don't know, you're the comic trivia master of a different person, so you'll fill up on comic knowledge? Sweet. Yo! Bayakia! So this is where you've been hiding! <sighs> the heck are you doing here, man? Mm -hmm. We were very concerned. <laughs> Well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. Well, uh, what were you reading? A mystery novel. Well, 
Wait, so are you going to use what you're learning in there to betray us? You'll cry with me. I know, honey. I know. Hm. Don't be so stupid. Yeah. It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, what? Naturally. If I decided to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? You look on longingly when your mother gives the kids Reese's Pieces. Correct, you're your and uh, you, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's not often you get to take part in such a high stakes, high tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. <laughs> his words sent a, sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. Yep, like, did you know? Hmm, what's a good one here? <laughs> did you know what, Neo? He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Despite this deranged killing game. Damn you! What the fuck do you mean, game? That's fucked up! Hmm. But it is a game. It's a game of life or death, which can only have one winner. That's all there is to it. <sighs> he is right. It's a zero-sum game. Huh? Are you okay with this? It is a part of game theory, a mathematical novel model. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero-sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean like a kind of elimination match? Actually, entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Rip map pat, I know, right? Did you know that pink kryptonite is a bit interesting? We've only seen it used in Superman, so we have questions for Supergirl, but it makes Superman either gay or turn into a woman? Interesting. Welcome to game theory! Um, you were thinking of good trivia? That is good trivia, Neo. Um, so... I was... I, I am still a huge Game Theory fan. I haven't been able to watch any of the Game Theory episodes since he announced that he was leaving the channel because it was it messed me up so much. <laughs> Rule 34 Superman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can just imagine what Rule 34 Pink Kryptonite must look like. Aurelius, in recent cartoons and such, it turns him into a woman as well. Superman is your favorite superhero hero? Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here. In this case, is that okay? our limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become the Blackened. So in other words... Smash. Panda, you're back. Monkey. Interesting. Not gonna lie, female Superman looks a lot like Wonder Woman. Hmm. Oh. I think he was maybe referring to the the emoji, Aurelius. <gasps> uh oh, here we go. So this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. Oh boy. You you have to accept or decline, Panda. That that can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. <laughs> Give me a random hero you want trivia on. You can figure out a good one. Mm. What? But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as we spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. <sighs> I don't know, Neo. Somebody in chat, give him somebody to, to talk about. It sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose. Am I right? Naturally. Of course. 
You do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from the Togami heir apparent. Ugh. It's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second! You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply isn't possible. You son of a bitch! Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> you know, I still just can't believe it. What? Believe what? <laughs> that an uneducated, brain-dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. Piece of shit! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Don't make me repeat myself. Like I said, I won't die. <sighs> you keep saying that, but... <sighs> Do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. Let's see. I forgive you if you give Arbo. Mm. Oh, Nico has challenged, uh, or Neo Data has challenged Aurelius to a duel. Aurelius, you gonna accept? Oi is the Chie of this game. You know, you're not wrong, Nico. He is the ultimate affluent pro progeny, after all. A boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. Celeste sounds like an evil character. <laughs> Uh-oh, Aurelius has declined the duel. Pussy. <laughs> Neodata, you got it, you got it. Absolutely, I was going to say it if you didn't. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life and death situation. Wow. <laughs> well, Cryo, he calls everybody else a pussy when they decline the duel. <laughs> is that not so, Biafia? Panda what? Wait, what? At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? Is it because? It is because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be won. That's enough. What if you say duel Lolita Bot? Um, I could make Lolita Bot duel you. He's a king, yeah. You know what? Fair. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh. Well, well. I do apologize. Hmm. Anyway, let me just say this to all of you. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give their best, where's the fun for me? Lolita bot? Hold on. Um. Where is Lolita bot? That should work. Yeah, see? There you go. No. Th that's a terrible way to look at it. What? Mm -hmm. It's because this isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know? To kill your own friends is... is... That's horrific! Friends. Who decided that? Huh? <laughs> We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. <laughs> Calendar, welcome in. You're getting timed out for what one, Neo? I don't even. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't think you are. Um. Here you go. Have one of those. But. But. but you know. What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um. Um. Come on. Yes. If you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Stop fucking around. Hey, shithead. You get off of bullying people that can't fight back? You want to try that on me? Hm. So, you're back to pretending or to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Piece of shit! Fuck you! What? Is that all you can say? <laughs> it's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You son of a no bitch! No one gave you a random hero? I said uh, for somebody to give you a random hero. Please, somebody, because my mind is, you know, on Danganronpa, not on this. Sorry, Neo. It's not that I don't want to hear anything. You don't. You think Leon and Mondo would have been good friends? No, oh, Neo. That's an interesting thought. 
That's it. You're fucking dead. Just a second. Hold on. Just calm down. Piece of shit. I am calm. <sighs> How is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. Your avatar is fixed. To cooperate during an elimination game is... Well, frankly, it's a waste of time. And I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. And I'd rather not become a part of the Last Supper just yet. Aurelius, thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it so much. <laughs> Shit. Quit talking like you're in a fucking movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that, ultimately, you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, Byakuya left. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But... Was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me! We'll fuck him, then. Maybe. But what he said might not necessarily be wrong. I mean, you can... Can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? <laughs> hey, come on, you too, Togo? Anyway... Well, it's not, not like anyone would care even if I w was gone, right? <laughs> you have to say one bad thing about Aoi is that she jumps to too many conclusions too fast. That's fair. Actually, I bet you all w want me gone. You all think I'm... D Disgusting. None of us think that. <laughs> you just, just you. don't think you. Th you just think you don't think that. <sighs> I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally out there. <clears throat> you think I d don't know, but I do. You want me g gone, <gasps> and I'm the sure the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Uh, hey, Toko, wait. Toko does need therapy, Nico. Does. She does, she does. <laughs> Just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there is nothing you can say to bring her back. Um, well, Neo, I'm gonna... I'll, I'll talk a little bit on that topic. Um, so there is a thing called um, rejection sensitivity dysphoria where you literally have it in your brain that everybody hates you and everybody wants to reject you and that nobody w gives a crap and that's something that can be really hard in a struggle um honestly i have issues with it myself um i often think if i haven't heard from my friends in a long time that they just don't want anything to do with me anymore and um it can be really rough uh to deal with um uh, yeah you have that so I think Toko just has a really, really extreme form of it. And it's part of the reason Toko is one of my favorite characters. Because while, yes, she needs therapy, um, and she needs a lot of growth, I, I, I feel like I was her at one point. <laughs> and honestly, all you guys here that are here and have been here for a while especially, um, you guys make me feel so special. It's been, honestly, you guys have been the best thing that could have ever happened to my mental health. She seems like she could be a nice girl. Nico, I agree. She could. Okay, so, ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms. So we have a very important question at this point. Um, geez, I'm tired already, but I don't have time to take even one day off. I need to get myself going. We have some free time. Is this Danganronpa 1 Stream 3 or Danganronpa 3? This is Danganronpa 1 Stream 3. I'm sorry, that is confusing. Hi, Starflash, welcome in. It's got you confused. We are in Chapter 2 of Trigger Happy Havoc, which is the first Danganronpa. Um, you're a bit worse off. All it takes is one day without anyone like you guys, your best friend, anyone you're used to seeing a lot of, and you just dip into that and it gets worse as the days go. You know, Neo, that's exactly how I am. You forgot to like? Well, maybe you should do that, Neo. I, I would really appreciate it. Um, while we're here, it's now free time, and we are going to vote on who we'd like to see. So the first vote's going to be on whether we want a guy or a gal.
And I'm gonna give it just a couple minutes. Let's get some votes in. We wanna see a gal, we wanna see a guy. That's a pretty even vote. It looks like we're leaning towards gal though. Okay. Okay. It's only four votes, guys. Anybody else, or uh, is that where we're ending it? Give me a couple more minutes. Well, maybe a minute. I don't want to like, make this take too long, since then we got to vote on who we're gonna actually go on this uh, free time. All right, and there's seven people in here, so five votes is most of you. We'll end it here. All right, so we're gonna go with a gal. Let's see. In the list of students, we have Kyoko Aoi, Toko, Sakura, Celeste, and Chihiro. So, the real question is, do support conversations lead to exclusive events? Not in this game. Um, it does lead to, like, certain skills, but, um, we're doing a skillless run, so it doesn't really matter who we talk to either way. Um, there might be some people that don't want to talk to us, and if that happens to be the case... Um, oh, we can only do four. I'm going to take off the one that I'm pretty sure we can't talk to right now. Um. And Chihiro's going to fall off just because she's at the end here. We can talk to Sayaka if we have, an, have a Ouija board. Oh, that's a vote for Celeste. I'm gonna pit Celeste against Shikiro at the end, against Shikiro, and uh, I'm pretty sure we can't talk to Toko right now. Um, I, if I remember correctly, there's a, a reason why we can't. Oh my god. Okay. Five votes. Looks like we're going to see Celeste unless she loses in the next one. Alright. The votes are going crazy. Yeah, I know, but there's only five votes. Okay, so Celeste wins here. And we'll do one more. Um, with... Chihiro. Um, you can talk to dead people in this game. You can't talk to the dead people in this game. Tomorrow is locked for plot reasons. Oh, Toko is... Yeah, I'm pretty sure she is locked for plot reasons. I'm pretty sure after her outburst, you can't talk to her for free time for the rest of this um, situation. Alright, guys. We need a tiebreaker vote. We are at four right now. Who are we going to see? Oh, please don't make me tiebreaker. You gotta admit, you're just choosing random people. Nico, that's okay. If we're going to sit at these four votes, I'm going to just pick. So, Celestia Ludenberg. Yeah, see, that's... Oh, Chihiro is winning. Flip a coin for a tie. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be seeing Chihiro, though. I'm, I'm kind of sad. I would love to see Celeste. She is my favorite, after all. <laughs> all right. Maybe we'll go see her tomorrow. Okay, let's see. Starflash, are you a Danganronpa fan? That's the wrong button. Uh... Oh, awesome. This is my favorite game. Um, like, bar none, is the Dangan the whole Danganronpa series. It's which is why we're doing a challenge run. Oh, wait, we voted for Chihiro. I'm sorry, Celeste. We can't go see you. 
I got really excited to go see her. <laughs> you were about to say there ain't no way they're not a Danganronpa fan if they don't know that fact. Yeah. It, this is a replay for me, in fact. Yes. Um, but there's a lot of people in chat that don't know what's going on. So this is considered a spoiler-free galooper. Hey, welcome in. We are doing this as spoiler-free. So Chihiro won the vote. Oh. Your brain is almost hardwired to see Celeste. It really is. I love her. She's my favorite. Out of all four games, she is my favorite. So... Huh. Um. Oh, Makoto, I didn't realize you were there. Hmm. Should I try and cheer up Chihiro? Yep. You're right. Yeah, I could use a little change of scenery. Um. Do you mind keeping me company for a while? <laughs> it's been a nice, relaxing time with Chihiro. Chihiro and I grew a little closer today. Yes, we have plenty of presents. We should be able to find something that she likes. acting's on point today. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> Rose Whip. Um. Uh, which one is this? great gifts for her, come to think of it. I'll just give her this. Thank you. Really, thank you so much. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. Oh, well, no free time event. Sad. There's still plenty of time left. I can't just sit around here. I should head out. Um, Cryo, can you double check on me for me? I, I'm wondering if uh, Chihiro doesn't do free time events this chapter. We wasted a vote. I mean... We're gonna see somebody else today. We're, we'll, well, I mean, we'll do another. Should we just go see Celeste or... I really want to go see Celeste. <laughs> Um, but I must do as you guys tell me to do. Catnip! Catnip! 31 ounces of catnip! Yay! Thank you! Now, you can't spam it anymore. I've changed the thing.
Alright, we'll go see her for both today, and if she still doesn't give us a free time event... How long's the timer? It's like a hundred seconds. Huh? Are you concerned about me? Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry to make you worry. Hmm. Should I try and cheer up Chihiro? Uh, I'm no. sorry. I'm really sorry for worrying you. Thank you. But I'm happy you're here. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's... <laughs> I, I put it on pretty long. Took some time to stay with Chihiro. Chihiro and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Yes. If we still don't get a free time event after this, um, I am, like I said, going to... Um, Thank you, Makoto. Really, thank you so much. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. Oh yeah, no. She must be locked out of free time events this chapter, which is okay. We'll just go see Celeste after this. Did you just see a thong as a gift? You did! Not Evie Light over here spamming the chat. Nip, hmm. uh, that, <laughs> plat, plat, plat. This it's is a school command. announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such... It is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed. Who bug has a bite. positive opinion about the thong? Um, if I recall correctly, mo. Actually, there's a bunch of people that have a positive correctly. Oh. I didn't read that. Hold up. Hold up. F2. Another day gone. But even though today is over, this game definitely isn't. How long is this going to keep going? Um, if I call... Yeah, with all the catnip piling up, how am I supposed to talk? All the stress and anxiety kept me from falling asleep until late in the night. Um, if I recall correctly, I think, like, Mondo likes the, the thong. Um... I feel like there's a couple other people that do. Whenever I spot a cute girl, I have the tendency to stare. I can't help it. I just gaze with intensity. The other day, I rode my bike to the train station. I was in the bathroom, just looking at myself in the mirror. Wicket, you just keep catching those. I don't even think anybody's trying. <laughs> Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Well, I guess I'd better head to the dining hall before anything else. You would try, but you're busy- <gasps> More catnip! Catnip, catnip, catnip! You would try to what, Cryo? Nico, thanks for the lurks. I went to the breakfast meeting, same as always, but... <clears throat> Is this everyone? It feels a little small. Byakuya and Toko had stormed off yesterday, and it wasn't too surprising they hadn't come today. Even the table looks bigger, somehow. <sighs> I assume that is because three people are dead, and two are abstaining. Yeah, with five people missing, I guess it would feel kind of empty. Hmm. Still, I know Byakuya's behaved whatever, but shouldn't we go check on Toko? Serious. I don't know. She's super annoying. <laughs> How can you be so cold? You are like a piece of rock candy. You hear me? What? No, rock candy isn't cold. It's sweet. Ugh, shit. 
Anyway, Biaka is the real problem. If we don't keep an eye on him, he might really kill someone. You can see it in his eyes. <laughs> we got no choice. Get some rope. We're gonna have to keep him bound and gagged. I think that's going a little overboard. Count on He's right. In this situation, there's nothing scarier than when an ally turns loose cannon. Sweet and cold. You do have high rolls, Neo. You do. It's just like when we were kids and someone would go crazy at sports day or whatever. What? That was probably, that was probably Kiyotaka. What the fuck are you talking about? You gonna use the rope to do tug of war or something? Idiot. It can't be. I'm not an idiot. Yo! You're an idiot. D damn Who you. Who it stupid? Huh? What's wrong, Chihiro? You don't look so great. 73 ounces of catnip! Catnip! Funny that Taka wants to tie someone up. Oof. Oof, Neo. Oof. Oh. I'm just going through a little self-loathing. Huh? Self-loathing? So that's what Taka's into? Mm. Should have the max up to a thousand? Maybe I will. New fetishes are discovered. Well, after what Biako you said to me yesterday, I just got so nervous. I locked up. I couldn't say anything. Mondo ended up having to help me out, and even he said I was someone who can't fight back. Aww. Something has to trigger it all. I I hate how weak I am. Ah, I see. Samano made you depressed. Why? What? what? How's it my fault? Hey, come on. I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weak anyway, right? What is a hundred a thousand ounces like? That's a lot. Good morning for Europeans, good night for Americans. Hi Leonard, welcome in. It is late. <laughs> Are you crying? Hmm. It's because you were screaming like a lunatic. <laughs> oh, poor Chihiro. <laughs> Neo. Hey, come on. Don't cry. It's my fault, okay? I won't yell at you anymore. Hmm. Really? Not sure I can believe that. Huh? Just shut up. What? What? I got it. I'll make you a promise as a man. Huh? A promise? As a man? Yeah, that's right. Maybe I mentioned this before, but... Ever since I was a kid, there was one thing my brother told me over and over again. He said that no matter what, a real man always keeps his promises. That's what he left me. Um... Left you? <clears throat> oh, yeah. My brother's dead. Oh, I see. That's true. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Don't want to make all you guys cry. Yo. Anyway, so you can trust me when I make that promise. So you don't gotta cry anymore. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mondo. Uh, uh. Sure. You could be talking about anglerfish. The big glowing ones are female. True. But... I still don't like how I am right now. I have to get stronger. If I'm so weak, anything can make me cry. That's not good. Still, don't stress out too much about having to get stronger. Um... No, I want to get stronger. Maybe I should start working out. <laughs> In that case, I would be happy to help you out anytime. You wonder if anyone shipped Mondo and Chihiro? So many people have shipped Mondo and Chihiro. The males are so small and weak, they only exist to breed. Neo, I know, right? Knowing the fan base, someone... I, no, absolutely. There's so much shipping of the two of them. Um. Mondo is best boy. Yeah. When he's talking to the ladies, you could even say he's as smooth as butter. But then, Miss Fujisaki would get smashed into a million pieces! Just a second! 
Shut up, you! <laughs> you know? Oh, finally cracked a smile, huh? A lot of insects, the female is the leader or stronger fish, and not only... And not the only ones, elephants too, are led by females. Indeed! Neko into Sh No, no, Neko, ne Neko is not into Shota. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Thank you. Everyone, thank you. Looks like Chihiro's gotten some life back. Yeah, man, if we keep helping each other out like this, we're bound to get out of this crappy place sooner or later. I mean, someday, I'm sure. Still, our biggest concern right now. I do know what Shoda is. Um. Well, because <sighs> Shoda fashion is kind of the counterpart part to Lolita fashion, so I have to know what Shoda is. But I'm not into Shoda Khan, which is when you like Shoda, uh, when you like younger boys. I'm not into that at all. Um. I actually never dated a guy younger than me. So. Same goes for hyenas. Yep. The cubs become adult males. <sighs> They're treated as the worst of the entire group because the females are jacked. And in fact, that's a lot of cat species. Um, Like, for example, uh, is it leopards? Where the, the females have pseudo penises in order to... Uh, assert dominance high school murder mystery time indeed semi original guy welcome in how old am I I'm old enough to 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 you know I, I, I'm old enough that some of the people my age have kids in double digits um there's a manga named Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid and the boy is literally named Shoda I know uh, yes, some leopards are. I believe it's leopards, Eviolite. Um, yeah. Is the other two who never showed up to breakfast. What can I do to try and understand those two better? Hmm. <laughs> I'm old enough, Starflash. <laughs> if you want to know further than that... Um, join the Discord. Maybe I'll I'll tell you privately, but I'm not I'm not announcing my age on <laughs> maybe for 500 subs. <laughs> we already know what the thousand sub goal is. Maybe for 500 subs, I'll tell you all how old I actually am. Fun fact about lions: the females will fight the male if treated poorly. And in fact, that's true. Didn't know leopards were into pegging. You're 25 years old, 1998. Still watch old Cartoon Network cartoons. Leonard, I understand that. Um, I'm old enough to remember the cartoons in 1998. We don't mention Fudas. Why not, Neo? What's the thousands? Um, so you can ask Advanced Warrior what he wants me to do for a thousand subs. I told him I'd do it if we got to a thousand. Um, not one sub sooner. <laughs> Okay, so what should I do today? We're going to see Celeste. Neo having pegging flashbacks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Neo lore? What? Last time you talked about food is you got a Cynthia art you didn't want to see. Yeah, there you go, Starflash. That, that's the one for a thousand. I won't do it a minute sooner because everybody keeps calling me Nico all over the place and I'm not having it. It's Neko in this house. Uh, we don't have Neo lore. <laughs> Keep going and you're gonna make Neo lore. Alright, let's go see the lady. Thinking emoji. We need Neo lore. Hmm. Ah, Makoto. I should tell you, I have recently seen the shadow of death upon you. <laughs> you know, um, Neo, I doubt you still have it, but if you do, <laughs> you can send it my way. <laughs> That's just a little joke. Should I hang out with Celeste? Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> hang out with Celeste today. It would seem I'm growing used to your deplorable face. 
This is another aspect of adaptation, I suppose. Despite her thinly veiled insult, I spent some time with Celeste. Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Neko rhymes with gecko. There you go. I've been going into to chats, and every time they call me Nico, um, I've been literally writing neck hyphen O. Like, come on, get it right, please. We don't talk about me. Yo, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Neo, <laughs> you poor thing. You sweet summer child. Um, Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Celeste a present? Yes, definitely. Um, so she likes a lot of the rose things. Um, like, the Rose Whip is one of her favorites, and I know we got a couple of those. There we go. We'll give her one of these. Wow. You literally just sung it. Neo, what happened? Oof. Um, did you not pay attention to Bruno? I mean, Neo. <laughs> if you like, I think that Neo probably gave as many details as he was comfortable, as, as they were comfortable giving. I don't mean to assume genders here. Um... So let's not pry, okay? Unless Neo gives that information willingly, we're not gonna... We're not gonna go there. So, I can have this? I may have to revise my initial impression of you. <laughs> mm -hmm. The more wonderful things I receive from you, the better impression I get. Seeing Celeste so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. <laughs> Gothelita is so surprised. The Teen Titans older version in Dexter's Laboratory. Oh, some of my favorites. I was really into the Hi Hi Puffy Ami Yumi show. Yeah. He? Okay, pretty sure you used your... I, I know, but I, I don't have the greatest memory, so... Makoto, I would like to share something with you. Huh? What is it? <laughs> you forgot about that show? It was such a good show, though. My perfect gambling strategy... Is there really such a thing? Indeed. Hi. Of course there is. Are you ready? Please pay attention. Whatever the game, you must have a mind for strategy. This will allow you to increase your odds of winning. However, the exciting part about gambling is that there is a power which can overwhelm any strategy. There is... Indeed. That power is luck. Luck. It's called counting cards, right? Actually. There are only two types of luck. Good and bad. You don't have the Cynthia art. You never had it in the first place. It was your cousins. They also showed you Bloody Mary, which is probably why you're more or less immune to horror now. Interesting. There is no in-between. And that luck is built into every human at the moment of conception. Like a computer program. Is that okay? Who remembers Pooja? I don't know that one. Some call it fate. The bottom line is, luck is life. Well, do you see what I am saying? You mean that's your perfect strategy? <laughs> Correct. You see, I was programmed to have good luck when it comes to gambling. This is why I have never lost. So that's all there is to it? Um. Pooch. Oh. From Emperor's New Groove? I mean, I, I liked Emperor's New Groove. Uh, you heard about Bloody Mary and horror, but only know the drink. What's Bloody Mary and her horror? Um, it, it's one of those, like, kids things where you, you go into the in, into the bathroom and you turn off the lights and see, you say Bloody Mary into the window a few times. Luck is not spawning in Australia, Kappa? Hmm. Why is that, Starflash? You're lurking, Cherry? Thanks for lurking. Ask your, yeah, ask your mirror. Ask your mirror for Bloody Mary. Do it three times. That's all it really is. So that's all there is to it. <laughs> you are the ultimate lucky student, yes? Does this perhaps exceed my own luck? One day, I hope to put that to the test. I hope you are well. Well then, have a nice day. Hi, Ember. Welcome in. Um, I don't think I've got any mods in the chat, but... Let's get some... Let's drop Ember's link here. 
Guys, go check out Ember. She does some really cool stuff. Lots of Pokemon, Stardew, some drawing stuff. It's great over there. You see, the last time you didn't have to say Bloody Mary, the lights went out when you got a flashlight and looked in the mirror. It was the scare. Ooh. I'm glad you're here too. Oh, what was that? Without another word, Celeste quietly disappeared. That's it. I'd say my life's been more bad luck than good lately. Gambling's probably not a great idea for me. Sweet. Report card's been updated. Maximum number of skill points increased. Not that we're going to use them. Ever made your profile pic and your banner for your channel? Highly recommend. She's great. You know, uh, didn't you just do uh, Keith's um, member stuff, Ember? I got really lucky. I was sniped in the first round of uh, membership stuff, uh, of membership gifting for Keith. I didn't even get the chance to try and get a membership for myself. <laughs> It looks really good, Ember. Someone sniped you too? I, I I was in the first round. I think it was like Glooper that got the first set of people. How are you? Ah, Makoto. How are you? Hmm, should I hang out with Celeste? Of course. Indeed. Would you like to play a game of chance with me? <laughs> I would be happy to empty your wallet and show it to you. You recommend whenever you see her? Yeah, absolutely. No, I've, I've watched a lot of Ember's stuff. It's, it's, it's good. I like being there. Celeste gave me the business. Celeste and I grew a little closer. Yes, present. Um. I know what I'm gonna give her today. not have it yet? I thought I had it. Okay. Guess it's another rose whip. Um. This game looks super cute. Ember, ah. Uh, <laughs> cute is not the word I did. You gotta do a quiz, you light. Thanks for lurking. Appreciate it. Um. Pucha is a South Korean media franchise. No, Leonard, I've never heard of it. No, no, this game is not cute. It's, um, you can tell it's an unhinged game, isn't it? Yeah. So the premise is that all the, all the students are trapped inside a school and they are told that in order to escape, they have to murder somebody else and get away with it. <laughs> uh, Pucha is also in love with the ninja Garu and Pucha always seems to beat him in combat and unintentional competition simply by sheer will since taking the first step in animation in 2000. Interesting. I never heard of it. It's a killing game. Expl expect explicit content. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you're going to get going? All right. Bye, Light Gem. It was great seeing you. Obviously, you haven't seen this game, so don't look back. We're in the second chat. I, I would go look back, actually, um, Ember. Um, we have two other streams of this before this one. Um... This is, this is my favorite game, so I know what's going to happen here, and a few people in chat do too, but we're doing a spoiler-free challenge run, so, um, yeah. So I can have this? I may have to revise my initial impression of you. <laughs> the more wonderful things I receive from you, the better impression I get. Seeing Celeste so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Let's see... Did I get the it, it so um the man's dream item I believe is the next one. I got the item that's necessary. You're gonna need to catch up on the streams then so you know what's going on. Yeah. Gonna be in for a fun time. Uh yeah, so I did get the item that I need for the scene. Just like a real girl thrives on the gifts. <laughs> Say Makoto, do you like Mahjong? I love Mahjong actually. I've never actually played. Most unfortunate. Is that so? A pity. I 
was hoping we might play together. Are you good at it? Yes, indeed. Good. No, I am not merely good. I once played a game of Russian Roulette Mahjong and won. Russian Roulette? Hmm. It was a truly fierce contest, put on by a half-insane billionaire in the basement of his mansion. My opponents were a fierce old man and a silver-haired boy who was said to have the devil's own luck. Hey guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, just remember this right here for the for for um the next like mainline game. It's not the next game we'll play because we're playing Ultra Despair Girls next, but for the next mainline game, remember this sentence right here. A fun part of these games, you might need certain items for secret scenes or just meet certain requirements. Exactly. Eh, Amber. <laughs> You're kidding, Nico? I mean, you're not entirely wrong. We played with a modified rule set. I remember well the glass tiles we used. And you won? Mm -hmm. I defeated them both at once. I will never forget the angry, twisted looks on their faces. The crowd that had been invited to watch became positively riotous. No one could believe I had won. <laughs> this is one of my fonder memories. Serious? Cryo, yes. Yes, it's exactly who you think it is. Fierce old man and silver haired boy. You don't remember that one? Neo, it's exactly who you think it is. Um You're not wrong, it gets steamy. Steamy's a good word for it. I'm really glad I didn't agree to play Mahjong with her. Woohoo! Skill points increase. Not that we're ever gonna use them. Unable to comprehend Celeste's fearsome past, I went back to my room. Um, I think in the morning we're gonna go get some more. Um, I guess I'm feeling a little hungry. I better get something to eat before it's nighttime. We'll probably get a couple more um rolls in the mono mono machine. Uh, Wing It is the only one playing the jumping game. No, I think that um, I think something with stream avatars makes somebody win if nobody's participating and i think that it's something like it's stuck where it just automatically picks the same person over and over again if nobody's participating Blech. sorry about that um so that that's all that is i think you're serious you're probably forgetting something is it in no it's the second one um, I just wanted to get something to eat, and now I'm about to get roped into something like this. Oh, <laughs> actually, no, I guess I'm already roped in. Listen to me. Hey, Makoto, perfect timing. Huh? What's going on? Hey, damn it. I have a favor to ask. A favor? I have a bad feeling about this. Listen to me. You came at just the right time. I must ask for your full cooperation. Hey, damn it. Come on, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. <laughs> witness to what? What? This guy's been talking shit about me since day one, calling me a coward and shit like that. You're corrupt! You are a coward. That's why you turn to violence to solve your problems. Witness, you say. Yeah, no, this part's fun. Wait, I'm... Sorry, did she say she beat him? Yes, Neo, yes. Yes. That's some hair. <laughs> it is, Ember. Yo! That's why you can't do what society asks of you. Why you walk around dressed like that. Huh? The fuck you say? Yeah. You don't know shit. You hear me? You've already lost to yourself, but you're such a coward you don't even realize it. He's always screaming. He's always screaming. D this this is funny. You. So what? You're saying you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? Count on it! It's a very big clue for people in the know. <laughs> I know I am! You wanna fight? Okay then, let's throw down. Prove you got what I don't got. You hear me? I accept your challenge! What? So that's what's happening, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. You're gonna throw down? You're not gonna, like, start punching each other, are you? Hey. There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? With a sauna inside. I see! I see! A simple endurance contest, is it? Got it! We're gonna see who can stay in the sauna the longest, am I right? 
down. <laughs> Truth, Neo. Piece of shit! Goddamn straight! They're gonna play card games? No, we're gonna go in the sauna. Are, are you guys really gonna go through with this? Stop fucking around! Shit, yeah! Yo! He'll be done in a matter of minutes anyway! People like him are without exception, without exception, all talk! You wanna throw down? Bring it on! Hell, let's make things interesting. Wouldn't want to win without a challenge, right? Interesting? You son of a bitch! We're gonna battle with all our clothes on! Ridiculous! That's idiotic! Suicidal! You wanna fight? What? You afraid? <laughs> You're gonna regret this! Stop fucking around! Shut up and let's do this. You can't wait to see this one? Me neither. This is one of my favorite scenes. Hey, Mondo. What asshole? I just love the towel on top of his hair. You can take off your uniform, you know? Go ahead. I won't judge. A simple staring conversation could have sufficed. Fully clothed, the sauna is the only thing you'd regret. <laughs> and you can shut the fuck up and mind your own business. I mean, look at you. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? RE3 is a short game? I didn't know that, Cherry. It's far too hot. I've never been in a sauna. It just so happens, I was born with a red face. You don't have to act all big, man. Taka isn't full. No, no. Uh, only Mondo is fully clothed in the scene. Who will win? Ever? Yeah, right. Act, you say? <laughs> For the moral compass student, um, Ta Taka's pretty ripped, didn't he? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good. I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soup right now. Are they okay? I tried to push my concern aside. A few more minutes passed. Then a few dozen minutes. Then an hour. You think the viewer Don't wins here? That time. isn't ant clothes either. You I bet that's up. the sweet leather. <laughs> what about you? You can't even hardly talk. And then they died. Dumbass. Finland is full of saunas? See, that's something Say I've never gotten to do. Whatever you want. I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel uh, kind of cold. That's probably not good. Hey, uh, guys, I know you both want to prove how big of a badass you are, but don't you think you've done enough? A sauna sounds nice for just a little bit. Yeah. Shut up! Yeah, I just can't win. Dude has a speedo with swimsuit mm. thing. <clears throat> It's a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. There goes getting something to eat. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. I don't Good know, night. if we let them Please die, die. it might count as bye. us murdering somebody. <laughs> Hey, did you hear that? It's nighttime. How about we call it a tie? Suede leather absorbs heat extremely well. Him wrapped in that stuff would bake him like a tinfoil wrapped potato. Oof. You suddenly nervous to say you would go in a sauna? It's probably gender difference. In a true competition, there's no such thing as a tie. He will become popcorn. Oof, dude potato. You win, or you lose. That's the only thing that matters. <sighs> Listen to you, you son of a bitch. Then bring it on. I'll, I'll Have a good time playing. Push you right up you to finish the your gates night. Of hell. Shift, you're gonna go sleep. Good night, Leonard. Have a good one. Hope to see you soon. They would have to peel the suede off of him. <laughs> the gates of hell. That's not a good place to push someone. This isn't good, guys. Huh. Yeah, you hear him? Better crawl on back to your room. I'll let you know how it went in the morning. Then you can start spreading my... my legend. <laughs> you hate what Aoi says after this because it's just a weird thing to say. <laughs> Imagine his hair popping kernels, lol. 
You'll fall down in front of me. Down on your knees. I'll show you where to do it. Big talk from someone whose face is about to explode. <laughs> right back at, at you. Okay, well, good night then. We do. We just leave them here. I really hope those two don't overdo it. But I'm sure... To the death? No, surely they wouldn't go that far. Taka phrasing. Or getting on knees and exploding on his knees in the sauna. The concern stayed with me as I slowly succumbed to sleep. Down on your knees, you say? Oh. If fate does exist, does that mean your future is decided the moment you're born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't know. That's why I'm still alive! Because I don't know! That's why I desperately cling to life! Ember, Ayo, you got it. You guys got it. No, Monokuma, we don't need to hear your bare ass. <laughs> That's hot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everyone just takes your joke <laughs> and runs with it, literally. Good morning, everyone. Okay. I'm tired of hearing Monokuma speak like that. Ask Celeste. Ooh. -hoo. Morning, huh? I hope Mondo and Taco the Mondo and Taka survived. Worried about the two of them. I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual. And when I entered... <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? What the? Yo. Hey, Makoto. <laughs> Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Huh? Are they friends now? <sighs> They've been like this all morning. They were all buddy buddy as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. What? Feels gross. Hell no. Feels great, more like. Ooh. This almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. <laughs> taco, yeah, taco the taco. Forget her, bro. A girl like her just doesn't get our manly bond. This makes you want to stop saying man in sentences. <laughs> you hear me? Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman could never understand. Ain't that right? What you just said? Bro, that was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. Without a doubt. No, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given to you by your loving parents. Manly Bond, how are they okay? <laughs> uh, see right there, how is this harassment? No, it, 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 okay, so I can understand where Aoi's coming from. Because, like, oh, this is cringy, creepy. It feels skeevy, almost. So, um, who won the contest? Piece of shit! Who gives a shit? Got it! Yeah, don't ask stupid questions. What matters is that we both took part in it together. Manly suede sawed a body. <laughs> That's completely different from what you were saying last night. I see. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. <sighs> yeah, for real. All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. They, bo they both gave up, didn't they? <laughs> they totally did it in there. Oof. The niece was taken to heart. <laughs> no. I, <laughs> oh. Yikes. I, I need a minute to recover from that. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the thing, Ember. We don't actually know. Yeah, yeah. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience.
So what should I do today? Ding dong! Hmm? Who could it be? Wondering who had come to visit, I opened the door and someone forced their way in. Toko, what's the matter? What's your problem? Wh why are you so so surprised? Am I really that an annoying? <laughs> well, I already know that I'm annoying. I came here n knowing that, so that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. <laughs> I have a f favor to ask. I want you to g go somewhere with me. <laughs> we know, we know. Yeah, we know, but they don't explain it. Lol, lol. Well, well, the library. Huh? Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Byakuya? He spends all his time in the library anyway. Okay. Did did I say something wrong? <laughs> You're not a b b blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. <laughs> then let's g go to the library. Okay, I got it. The library. Imagine one of us gets Mondo and Taka as our an avatar next time. Yo. I mean, I could switch everybody in chat's avatar to <laughs> one, or, uh, one or the other. That'd be hilarious. Jeez, why so pushy? Quiet. Be quiet when you go in. Don't let him see you. She's crushing so hard, yeah. Poor Toko. She's so unstable right now. She is. She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept into the library. Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. He's here. <laughs> He's really here. <laughs> Poor Toko. She comes like she does come off okay, like a stalker. Makoto, go talk to him. What? Stop being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. That's kind of crazy. Um, so we didn't get to like actually examine in here earlier. I want to get some stuff together. The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. The books must be in rough shape, too. I know we have uh, mono coins in here, but so. Um, deep breathing in a corner, lol. An extension cord. Guess it's being used to connect the lamp to the power outlet. But where would you get something like that, this, here in the school? Tight, you say. <laughs> There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. Makes me not really want to touch it. It looks like the library has been neglected for a pretty long time. Gonna hit the hay kind of tired? Have fun, Nico. I, great having you here, as always. I hope you get some good rest. A true book lover might pass out looking at this. That's not what I wanted you to look at. It's a desk lamp. The library is definitely pretty dark. I imagine this would come in pretty handy. But Yakuza's getting some use out of it, that's for sure. Uh... I think that's everything. We already did this, so. Safe to say, you can't take both the perv girls, Neko and Ember here. You can't help but join in, lol. I'm gonna... What the heck? C come on, just talk to him. Fine, fine. He seems to be really focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? I hate even having to look at you. 
Ah, so you noticed me, huh? Naturally. Notice me, senpai. <laughs> of course. Now hurry up and leave. Hmm. And take her with you. <laughs> hey, um, Biakia? <laughs> Remember how you said, don't be a woman who dominates weak men? Be a woman dominated by a strong man? Hmm. I have never said that. <laughs> well, actually, I thought it sounded like something you might say. <laughs> yeah, right? Notice me? <laughs> don't, don't go calm down before you pee yourself. Notice me? <laughs> Get out. And go take a bath. You smell. <laughs> don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me say it again. Now go, before your stench latches onto the entire room. Uh, okay. Such a weird yeah! interaction. He really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. She seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? <laughs> Biagia, to go that far... <laughs> he must r really be concerned about me. Huh? Toko, you dang writer, I know that brain creative minds make those words pop up in the <laughs> He t told me to t take a bath and everything. He must really care about my well-being. Dang, she real mad. <laughs> she cray cray. <laughs> Ember. <sighs> hey, M Makoto, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think B Byakuya and I would be g good together? She horny, horny. She is wing it. You have no idea. Um, well, no. I, I don't really know. Maybe. That's t true. There's no way to know. <laughs> but the distance between uh, us doesn't change our love. Because as soon as you realize your f feelings, the l love is born. That's how it where love works. Okay, she is psychotic. Don't worry, Ember. Don't worry. Yes, Toko, you and him totally just go take that bath, okay? <sighs> there might be a come a day when you understand. Maybe S someday. Well, bye. <laughs> <laughs> ah, young love! Ba -bum, ba -bum. Who would have guessed she would ever go for someone like him? She <laughs> But eager passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. <laughs> All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. Get an ice bath ready for her. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Cold shower. Really, really cold shower. Yep, yep, yep. Some time left in the day. Let's go back and visit Celeste. I am going to have to go grab some more um, presents, though. So let's head over there first. Ready for some more gambling? Yes. The night is young for Miss Toko, as Hifumi might say. <laughs> you always come back at the best time. Gambling time? <laughs> I knew what you were going to say before you said it. <laughs> I just want to make sure we have enough presents um, before we go talk to Celeste again. Listen, you might have a problem. A gambling problem? Um. Actually, uh. Gambling and gotcha addiction is the reason why I'm not allowed to play mobile games. Like, literally. But it's only a problem if you don't win. Be an advanced warrior? Nice, son. Again, I need to watch both matches you guys have played now. 
And I should really probably take my turn against Semi, shouldn't I? Winget, have you taken your turn? I'm, I'm, I'm learning patience, guys. It's something I don't have a lot of. Um, <laughs> you haven't taken your turn, have you? I'm proud of you too, honey. That's, good job. He was complaining earlier that you pick weird maps, though. You think you started at work and then got busy? Well, maybe you should finish that. He should actually be out of work soon. Well, maybe he'll come comment on the, the match. We got some catching up to do, yeah. Ooh, lucky! Noodles. Yum yum. Do you just emulate the emotions of people around you, so the teasing that Neko and Ember just did made you go wild? That's fair. You're eating pudding? <gasps> I should get pudding. I have so much pudding in the fridge. You wonder if that's a mental thing? Um, the horny lady made me hungry? Fair. Uh... Was that the game where you picked Jake? Cryo. Did you just play Jake? Did you miss anything? You goofed on the quiz because you forgot to review something. Oh no! Neo, don't hate me, but I was one of those kids that messed up the curve so bad that nobody liked taking a quiz if I was in the same room. It's a hand bra. Pudding snack time. What, not emulating the emotions of others around you? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Um, Neo, actually, I do the same thing. Um, when I'm, like, in a high-stress environment, I, I start masking really hard, and it makes me copy like everybody else's. How long has this been a gambling stream? Um, not too long. We just came back to get some more presents before we went and visited Celeste again. More scissors. We're actually already at 61% of the items. That's actually pretty good. Has the victim died yet? No. Um, soon, though. Before the end of the stream. I, I won't end stream until somebody dies. Don't worry. It was the Rachel game. Interesting. ER has finally won the jump catch game. Must still be lurking somewhere. We're gonna go down to just 25 um, mono coins. A different pair of scissors. You're about to say you end up masking a lot in stressful situations? Yeah. Um. Lucky! Like, I'm definitely a different person when we go to, like, family parties at Cryo's parents than I am in my normal daily life. Or even when I go to drop my kid off at school. Different person. You don't hate me when I'm like... Uh, Oh, I said your name and I meant Eviolite. I'm sorry. I'm cracked. The noise is hurting your brain. I'm almost done, Cherry. Guess what? You th just threw the game because you're not awake? Well, I mean, I could have waited for you to take your turn. Though, I'm not going to mind getting a win for once. Catnip! <gasps> 77 ounces of catnip! Huzzah! We got the zoomies! Why did no one take want to take quizzes if you were present? Because I was the type to ruin the curve, like, really bad. Um, for example, on my Calculus 3 final. Um, I know! They give me catnip! Isn't it great? I've got that thing on a timer, though, because they were overloading me with drugs so hard I couldn't focus on the stream. Seems like Neko, Ember, and I mask most of the time, and somehow we got 
all got into teasing time. Well, that's because this is a safe space. Yeah, he did. He just came in here and said that, Advanced Warrior. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, but like, so for my Calc 3 um, final in high school, um, the highest score outside of me was a 65, I think. It might have even been a 60. It was like really low. And the teacher had agreed to take the person with the lowest, with the highest grade and round it up to 100. And, um, and then, um, like, score up everybody else's entirely. Because it was, you know, really, um, a... I should probably get going. Yeah, we should get going. Um, it was a really difficult final. Um, so the next lowest person, or like the next highest person had like 60. And with extra credit points and everything, I scored a 128. So nobody else wanted to be in my classes. Most Ember is so totally going to add that to her channel now. It's just like the shiny luck. Um, we also have like a chat speed command. Um, that does literally the same thing. They're all, you know, we have some fun commands over here. Neo, I will probs forget, but you love it so much. Ember, I will remind you. I'll come to your stream and remind you. <laughs> Imagine being so good people hated you. Exactly. Does this school not have a dry cleaning service? How terribly upsetting. What am I supposed to do if my clothes become soiled? See, this is the other reason I could not afford to wear Lolita fashion daily. You're off to the gym. Ciao. Well, have fun at the gym, Advanced Warrior. Um, is because most, if not all, Lolita clothes, like anything that's good and really worth it, um, would be, is dry clean only. So it gets really expensive to wash it all. What would embers be? Paint fumes? Um, hmm. Listen to stream while at the gym. Advertise Neko. Ooh, fire flowers pollen. Um, I don't know. Embers might be something like, um, you could, we, we, we could gift you paintbrushes or something. I don't know. Hmm. Should I hang out with Celeste? Absolutely. There is nothing to be done. Normally, my pride would not permit me to allow you to be alone with me. But, fine. I will allow you to entertain me for a while. You have no clue. <laughs> I killed some time with Celeste. Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Yes. What are we giving her? Some rose hip tea. Wow. So, I can have this. I may have to revise my initial impression of you. <laughs> the more wonderful things I receive from you, the better impression I get. Seeing Celeste so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. <sighs> Going off what you know about Ember, which admittedly isn't a lot. Indeed. We have dating in this as well? That's crazy. Celestia Ludenberg. Celestia Ludenberg. What are you doing? <laughs> no matter how many times I hear it, I never tire of hearing my own name. Isn't it so splendidly charming? Oh yeah, I've been wondering about that. Why that name? Well... Why? I mean, is it from something? Why'd you pick it? <laughs> I did not pick it. My name was given to me by my mother and my father. Come on, that can't be your real name, can it? This is fine. It is, indeed, my real name. Make no mistake about that. Okay, so your parents gave you that name? Indeed. That's right. My father is French nobility, and my mother is part of a German family of musicians. There's no way that's true. Uh, wait till the third game, that's the crazy dating one? You need to get ready for bed, but you made yourself a reminder to watch the rest of the stream and the previous one so you know what's happening in the game. So, so glad you got to be here today. Okay, Ember, have a good night. And Danganronpa is every Tuesday. So you can expect that on Tuesdays. We do something different almost every night of the week. Even Tenko, which you once, who you want to not like until you read about her story. Yeah, fair, fair. Night, Ember. Yes, have a good night. Good night, good night. There's no way that's true. But, okay, so were you born in France or Germany? <laughs> See you every Tuesday? Mm -hmm. 
Yay! And after this one, so we're going to be doing this one, and then we're going to do Ultra Despair Girls, which is 1.5, and then we're going to do two, and then we're going to do three, and then we're going to move on to a couple other series that are kind of in the same vein. So like the Zero's Escape series, and uh, the, the Somnium, I, the Somnium Files series, and then some Ace Attorney as we get going. Like, well, we're going to have a good time over here. <laughs> Tokachi. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> I was born in the capital of Toke Tokichi, which is known for its delicious goiza. Do you know of which city I speak? So it's the capital of Togechi, and it's famous for its goiza. Go 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 gyoza. I can't speak tonight, guys. Neko, is that is not saucy. Don't make it that saucy. What? Wait, wait. What is saucy? What's saucy? What's not saucy? I'm confused. What's saucy? What's not saucy? You repeated see you every Tuesday and you were in that teasing voice. You recognize that voice now? Oof, oof, oof. How do you? It's Utsunomiya, right? Oh! That is correct. You have proven you are roughly as inte intelligent as an elementary school student. Or a high schooler, maybe. Actually. You may be surprised to learn that I absolutely adore go gyoza. I love its stench, its base vulgarity. As you can imagine, I'm quite disappointed that I will never taste my hometown's go gyoza again. Never say never, you know. Once we get out of here... Is that okay? We will never get out of here. How long will you continue with this ridiculousness? You should give up. Do you understand? If you don't, it can only lead to murder. Celeste's eerie words stuck with me for a long time after she'd left. The more I talk to her, the more I don't understand her. Celeste likes smells then. Hmm. Oh, yay! When we find mono coins, we'll now earn more than before. That's actually a useful skill. <laughs> Once I was all finished, I headed back to my room. And with that, you're gonna head to bed too, Wing It. Okay, great! Uh, we're actually just about to get to the murder, so. Ahem. School announcement. School announcement. Nighttime is quickly approaching, but before it look. arrives. Who was Ember? Is she still an avatar? Let's see. Um, Ember. Oh. <gasps> just Monica. Hold on. I know it's not the same Monica, but well, let's pin her, like, right up here. There we go. All students, please gather in the gym immediately. Uh, Monica is from Ultra Despair Girls. Emergency! Emergency! <laughs> gather in the gym? Why now, all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the announcement Indeed. just now? Yes. I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? Right. I can't imagine it's going to be good news. But it's not a good idea to defy him here and now. Goodbye. So I'm going on ahead. I really can't do anything except what Monokuma tells me. You've told you you don't know Ultra Despair Girls? Yeah, yeah, you've never seen it. Well, we're, that's next, so don't worry. You'll see it soon. It's a good, good game.
Yo. Hey, man. You about to head in? Yeah. Has everyone else already gone ahead? Dude, shit. Looks that way. I don't like it, but nothing's gonna good's gonna come from ignoring that goddamn bear. Um, Mondo? Are you sure you're okay? You kind of went all out in that song. What? Huh? Who went out all out? That shit doesn't even phase me. Yo. But, you know, <laughs> there at the edge of hell, a promise between men was waiting for me. Never saw it coming. Allo, you passed out, lol. I was wondering where you went. Yo. Anyway, let's get our asses into the gym. Man, something unique must have happened between the two of them. <laughs> Day was fucking. Making sure we don't miss anybody. We're probably coming to the end of the stream here, um, guys. I know stuff happens soon. He has returned, indeed. Hey, Hifumi, how come you haven't gone in yet? Why is that? Mr. Nayagi, don't scare me like that. Sorry, but we really should go inside. <laughs> No, don't go. You can't go. Mm -hmm. That's what my ghost friend is telling me. I don't feel I don't feel good about this either, but we can't just ignore this. <laughs> Damn, that's true too. I suppose. I guess we have no choice. I have to go too. How was your nap, Allo? <clears throat> Asking us together all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Well, indeed. What might await us this time? <laughs> he keeps th things interesting, that's for certain. You're certainly excited to see Ultra Despair Girls. It'll be your first time into that side of Danganronpa. Um, I'm excited for the end of what we're doing because I'm going to be playing the summer special game. I finally got my PlayStation over to my area so that I'll be able to stream it when we do get over to that game. Um, but I have never played the summer, like, game. You know what I'm talking about. The, the what's it, Danganronpa S? I've never played it. And I'm really excited for something that's actually my first time in this series. Um, to be shared with you guys. Hmm. He keeps things interesting, that's for certain. You're just vibing, Allo? Um. I feel that. How is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? You never play that game, but you have it, you'll play it with me? I don't know if it's... Is it multiplayer? Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode. What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which of us is actually messed up? Hmm? Huh? What? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing in particular. Just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here, living in blind denial day after day. You don't think it's multiplayer? Oh, you meant you play it at the same time as me. I was going to say, if it's multiplayer, I'd probably try and do a collab for it, but if it's not, that's fine too. I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me. Remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come help us? How'd that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. Well... that That's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. You can look it up real quick? Okay. It's strange. That's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck. Hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind might just be that powerful to take control of even the police. Could it be? Oh, this might not be related, but... <laughs> Th then don't say it. Hmm. No, gonna say it. It's not like some it's occult about mystery. last night. I was near the main hall just staring off into space. When all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that I don't really know what it was. <clears throat> what kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it, it, be... it was like a construction site, I guess. 
A construction site. For serious. I mean, I could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. It is single player. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Time for bed. Good night, Sammy. Have a good rest. <laughs> then you d definitely made it up. M must have just been the sound of the ocean that that's in that head of yours. Say what? What you talking about, Togo? It is single player, Neo. I, did I already read that? I, I think I did. Wing it catching stuff from the other side of bed. <sighs> He's arrived. <laughs> what Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction. But it could have been an explosion. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> or maybe a machine gun. <laughs> that can kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? What? Ah ha ha! on this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I am fully puckered. It's a secret little secret. And? Fine. Then let's move on to what you can tell us. You accidentally read a little on Monica wheelchair bound. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you call us yell Say here? What? You don't beat around the old bush, do you? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? If you please. But before that, you mind if I vent a little? <sighs> I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. <laughs> yikes, Neo, yikes. I'm thinking it's probably become because of this ho-hum, boring old everyday life. There's a typo. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? Today, the I'm next button hasn't what? shown up yet, and I'm getting bored. Hey, um... So I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? Is it another set of videos or something? Are you going to show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? I'm not telling you anything, Neo. I'm not going to spoil you, just like I'm not going to spoil anybody else. Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say. Just awful. You hear me? I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. Got it. No matter what you do, I swear to God, we won't. That's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this time it's ba -ba, ba -ba. embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given there are things you don't want other people to know about you. Ta -da! So I did a little investigating of my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. I'm going to hand them out now, so take a second to take a peek. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. That's the only thing you know about wheelchair-bound people? Chess, maybe? She looks smart? You'll find out when we play the game. Makoto wet the bed until he was in fifth grade. What? Oh. How? Yeah. How'd you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. <laughs> you have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by them, Extreme. all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Yeah Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate. Makoto's thing is just funny, yeah. That's not too bad. You mean you know Oracle, she's cool. Don't blame Grayson for marrying her. I mean, what? Neo, what? <laughs> yup, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant. Just trust me, none of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? It's definitely something I'd rather not people know, but... We'd never kill over something like that. What? What'd you say? Count on him. He's right. Your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. This is kind of depressing. Oh, oh no. 
Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know, no matter what. I assumed you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next photo. <laughs> Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. You'll straight up tell them, yo, I went to bed until I was 13, but it's whatever. Yeah, right? Well, what can you do? Okay, then. In 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad. So depressed. Farewell, not well. <laughs> Oracle, she used to be Batgirl. She got paralyzed from the waist down by the Joker. Oh, interesting. So, um... I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. Um... I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing. But that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me! Good news, everyone! I have a brilliant idea! You hear me? Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? Without a doubt! If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish! That's pretty smart, right? Quiet down and listen! Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... <laughs> I, I don't want to hear your stupid s story. <gasps> what? <clears throat> Besides, I d don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. As for me... Neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Oh? Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. <sighs> Absolutely not. Come on. It's come okay, on. just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Honestly. As I said, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey! I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. Owie's is the same as Makoto's, but with a pool. Owie pees in the pool every hour. <laughs> like, Owie has a secret six-pack from swimming for long enough. Lol, you want to smack Hifumi, right? Well, maybe you'll get lucky and he'll die in a few minutes. Say what? I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. <gasps> what do you think, Chihiro? Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but... But I also don't want to leave things the way they are. So maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So, um... If you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. If everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the one who, that suggested it, I gotta say no. <laughs> well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. We don't know their secrets either, so we can only speculate. Right. A secret so bad, you'd kill someone to keep it. Nobody's got something like that. Right? <clears throat> okay, I'll talk with, stop with all the secret talk, but... You hear me? Each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're going to die because of it. <clears throat> so, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. Kiyotaka and Mundo already had the sauna scene. Yeah, you did miss the sauna scene. Taka was totally about to say, I once jaywalked. No, no, no. Taka's embarrassing secret is that he fucked Mondo in the shower. Or in the sauna, rather. And that he just took it. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Oh. Uh, okay. Sorry. I know it's going to be tough, but... <laughs> this is a school and I don't really want to hear what you have to say, Monica, but I don't think anybody else does either. Chihiro, hmm. Taka, and Mondo love triangle? Hmm. Nighttime already, huh? Okay, let's call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We still need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety I just couldn't shake. We left things as they were, and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. You ship it? I ship it too. Secrets are memories you don't want anyone to know about. 
a way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least, that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle... Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know is that even then, a tragedy was taking place. <gasps> Love Triangle, more like Eiffel Tower, I'm assuming you meant to say, Cryo. Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active, I mean. For example, it's the difference between like, oops, I killed him, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? But there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, then put it into action, it's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. Morning. Good. Good morning. Good morning! <laughs> nice reaction. I'm glad I didn't to see you didn't disappoint. What? What are you doing in here? Yep. I wanted to spice things up. So instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? <laughs> because it's fun. Hmm. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? <laughs> Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy-buddy classmates. What? Say what? Whoa, what, what? Your face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. What? What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know, and you to find out. You're surprised in the entirety of Danganronpa there was no one who was just like, Heck yeah, I did it. I'll die. I don't care. There were none of those. There were those two guys who totally would have given. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Something's happened to someone. Is it? Was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if? No, what ifs are pointless, especially now when... The dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Allo, winning 25 from the Just ah. Catch game. Makoto! Uh, um... Are you okay? Hey, did Matakuma talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and... Byakuya. You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? <laughs> Allo just over here lurking and the, the game the thing is just giving him stuff. You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? <laughs> Either you're already they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder. After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um... So, if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Did you ever notice the anime boobs are so shiny? Like, they do they sweat that much? Or is it all... No, uh, boobs actually sweat that much, Neo. Mikoto, you talk too much. I know this is a visual novel, but thank you. Huh? It can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. <laughs> Just old memories. Don't be so sure about that. Clearly, someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? <laughs> to judge someone else's values based on your own outlook. Do you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? Wh why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? 
this isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. No, not like you looked at Aoi, but they're so shiny sometimes. What good does it do for me to go out of my way to help you? Just the worst. Stop saying that already. Uh, um... There's something wrong with him for serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters now is that we find out what happened. Yeah, no, it's, it's really fine. bad, Neo. She's right. Let's split up and begin looking. <laughs> the game is afoot. So, for the sake of time, because it is starting to get late, I am just going to head directly where we need to be going. I'll stop and talk to people Yo. along the way, but... Hey, Makoto. Honestly, what do you think? Huh? About what? For serious? About Byakuya. You think he's being brainwashed or what? I don't know. You know more about that kind of thing than me, right? What? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, you're some kind of psychic, right? Hey. Listen, Makoto. I think you completely misunderstood what it is I do. Okay, listen. Fortune telling is like... Well? It's totally different from brainwashing or hypnosis or any of that pseudoscientific bullcrap. <sighs> I need you to understand that. So you expect me to think fortune telling isn't pseudoscience? Sorry, I don't want to get yelled at. Thinking about Akane and doing it, that does make sense. You guess the weight of them just makes you have a bunch of effort to stand straight. So yeah, it is. The door is open, but aren't these supposed to be locked? God, I really just went, I'll answer my own unasked question with the context clues I have gotten. Um, it, it is very, uh, um, for this investigation, Sweaty. I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. Investigation? It's all clear now. Just as I thought. Byakuya? I see. Judging from what you j he just said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. C come on! Hm. And the locker rooms. They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious. <laughs> it seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. Why the girls one, Byaku? You? you really that interested? He was muttering, as if talking only to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girls' locker room door. And the door swung open without a sound. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. What? I don't know how long it fully took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. But as soon as I did... Ah! Look around to your heart's content. Owie, your chest may have clues. Proceeds to get punched in the wall three times. Neo, how far back are you? A wild, almost prim primeval scream escaped from my mouth. So, the next victim? I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me. Oh, okay. I, I thought you were behind for some reason. Like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. Byakuya, on the other hand. Very strange. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm. Almost as like he was watching this all unfold in front of a TV screen. I see. Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow. And something's been written on the wall in blood. Bloodlust? Hmm. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Yeah, the bloodlust. 
wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? <laughs> no, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre and for any a everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. <laughs> it's almost as if whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was still reeling, too confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my what head... The heck? Hey! I heard screaming! Did <laughs> something... Chihiro! And that's where we're gonna save. Did you guys have fun tonight? I definitely did. Again, this is one of my favorite games, so it's always a good time here. Do we want to end the night with a uh, little raidy raid? Let's see who's live. Wait, wh what? You had more fun than ever? Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Let's see. Um, well, I see that Aurelius is streaming, but it looks like he's just doing vertical tests to see if it works. Um, I think we're gonna go raid Cherry. They've been begging for a raid, and we're gonna keep up with the horror themes. Um, they're playing Resident Evil 3, so. Let's get us moving. Their chat's completely dead too, so let's let's give them some love, okay? Duncan Ropa is not horror. Well, it's 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 something. Resident Evil Three is something too. So, <laughs> murders, zombies, you know. Uh, Evie, like we're going on a raid. So if you want to come over for the raid, great. And if you don't, then we'll see you next time. Yes, yes, Neko Lelita Legion. And if we're all ready, until next time, bye!